Before we start, since spoiler is kind of a very subjective term, I want to throw out there that the possible spoiler for an area boss and a different minor boss is in the video and possibly for an area of the map. So I just wanted to give you a heads up before you started the video. If you want to just throw it on in the background for audio only, that'll be perfectly fine. You'll still retain the information. So in this video, I want to give you a quick little handy tip that will help you decimate bosses, baddies, and all those bulky boys you're going to be running into while you're experiencing the god tier exploration through Elden Ring. There is a status ailment you can apply to enemies that is absolutely devastating. Blood loss. To quickly summarize what blood loss is, you attack the enemy and with each hit you'll apply a little bit of bleed onto them. Think blast weapons in Monster Hunter. When you reach a certain threshold, you'll see a giant blood explosion on the enemy and a massive amount of the enemy's health will be non-existent, like our maidens. This amount of health seems to be a percentage of the enemy's max HP, as it seems like tankier enemies take greater numbers of damage when the blood explosion procs. You can obtain it as a passive effect on some weapons, but you can also apply the Blood Slash Ash of War onto the weapon to give it a passive bleed as well. The number in parentheses will differ, and as to just how much of a difference it makes, I'm not sure of just yet and couldn't find detailed enough information on it. In my testing, the katana I was wielding, which had a blood loss of 50, took about 6 hits before the proc exploded. This can obviously be affected by how aggressive you are and how fast you're building up the hits, because just like us, the enemy's bleed buildup will slowly go down as they aren't getting hit. It will also be affected by the enemy's natural resistance to the bleed status. In the same testing, there is no difference between whether you are two-handing a weapon, heavy attacking, or jump attacking, or light attacking. There is a flat bleed applied with every hit, so light, fast weapons with bleed will be especially nice. If you do happen to have some more concrete info on blood loss as well, feel free to drop it down in the comments as I plan on taking a deeper dive as more info comes out. The big takeaway is that blood loss rolls and you should absolutely try it. If you're not convinced, just take a look at this footage of a giant health sponge enemy and watch when the blood explosions proc insane amounts of damage. Now turn off this video, search the massive lands of Elden Ring for a blood loss weapon, and profit.